Hello. <laughs> this is Musaka Sensei. Say hello. This is cleaning time at the junior high. Oh, hello. <laughs> All the students help clean the building. <laughs> it's a little different than American schools. There is no actual janitor. <laughs> <laughs> they are a little shy. Uh, an English lesson. <laughs> All right. pitches in, works on cleaning the hall, and the classroom for at least 15 minutes every day. <laughs> Say hello! <laughs> What are you doing? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no. Say hello. <laughs> oh, look at the snow. Look at the kids not cleaning. Shame on them. They're getting in trouble. <laughs> and here we are. I'm walking to the bus stop after school. As you can see, all the snow and ice from this morning has pretty much melted off of the path, which is a little weird, <laughs> considering we've been having random snow flurries all day. But surprisingly enough, the ground really doesn't freeze up that much, which is why this morning was kind of a shock. Sorry for the shaky video, I am walking. backwards a little bit. <laughs> the school is letting out. The students are coming out. And uh, the sky has become a stunning blue. You can see all the uh, rice fields that surround this area. Uh, I just realized you haven't had like any shots of me, so uh, there you go. Hi, how you doing? <laughs> I have no idea what I look like. I've been at school all day. But, um, uh, just because school is over, of course, does not mean my day is over. Sometimes if I get out of school early, I end up going back to the office. But I didn't do that today, so no office time today. I will make an appearance at the office tomorrow, though. Yay. Uh, mostly because, uh, excuse me, I'm going up a hill. Mostly because tomorrow is Valentine's Day, and they have this thing called Giri Choco, which girls are kind of obligated to give the guys they work with chocolate for Valentine's Day. Kind of whether they really like them or not. So I've made a bunch of little Giri Choco, but I'm going to give it to guys and girls, because that's how we do it in America. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> uh, that's better than what I sometimes get. Sometimes they speak to me. They're a bit braver when they're with their friends or if they're inside the school. Bye. See you later. <laughs> and sometimes they initiate it, which is, that's, that's wonderful. Uh, 
I mean, the whole reason I'm here, right, is to get them interested in English, make them want to try speaking more English with, you know, crazy people like me. And I hope I'm doing my job. All right, more later. And magically, I am back in downtown Kameoka. Actually, I just got off the bus. Ah, as you can, well, I don't know if you can see in this video or not, but it's trying to start snowing again. It's been doing this off and on all day. It's kind of cool. Ah. But, um, yeah, so this is kind of where I live. The uh, big, giant uh, orange and red thing there that marks the entrance to the post office, which is right here. And don't let the English fool you. Only about one of the workers there speaks any kind of decent English. <laughs> I also play this game every day with uh, who wants to hit me with their car. There's some cute little shops that I have been by. There's the shoe store, which uh, is cute, but nothing fits me. Um, little restaurant that I'd like to try someday. I browse their yarn. They've got a decent selection, but it's a bit expensive, as is most everything here. Huh? There's a vending machine which has tasty drinks. Um, that is some sort of pub. I've never been in it, but it's only open at night. Uh, there's the local Seiyu, which is kind of like Walmart in America. Unfortunately, it's very close to where I live, which makes it too convenient, and I go there way too much. Uh, this up here is the uh, Hoka Hoka Bento place really tasty food. Takes a long time to prepare, but it's really worth it. I know, I'm like a walking advertisement. Little uh, elementary kind of teaching English to little kids school. Uh, I know, it's not terribly exciting, but it's where I live. And some of you have been saying, I want to know more about where you live. And well, here you have it. I will tell you this. There are a lot of hair salons, uh, and I'm really not joking about that. It's, it's kind of like the way churches are in Tulsa. There's one on every street. <laughs> so, uh, yes, for, for you smokers, there you go. Yes, they have vending machines for tobacco products. Uh, anyway, I'm on the way to my house, so, uh, I will see you later.